Hi and welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Um, this time I'm gonna tie this fly. It's a gurgler, uh, size six. Uh, these these flies are so fun to tie, and and I mean, the the type of fishing is is so excite exciting. So I've been looking forward to making this tutorial. I'm 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 so excited. So yeah, um, there's a couple of things that's important. Uh, number one, uh, the type of hook you use. For these types of flies, it's important to choose the right hook, the type of hook, uh, and the foam you're using, and of course uh, how you set up the fly. Because uh, for me, uh, when I fish these flies, I want want to make a small plow in the water when I uh, pull pull the fly pretty slow. So I don't want to make a lot of noise, uh, and when I stop to pull, I want the hackles to flare out. So. I'm gonna walk through the type of materials as we tie. Um, I think that's the best because, yeah. And the box, the fly box. <laughs> uh, we're just starting this box. I mean, now I have the F all, I'm gonna tie three, three of each pattern, that's enough. Uh, if you lose one, you can just always tie another one. So I'm gonna tie, uh, this is the size, you can see size six here. And I also, also tie it in size 8. I'm going to show you. I'm just going to show the fly in the, at the end. So that's the flies and um, the type of foam. Um, uh, I, I actually I found this one uh, on the shoreline here as I was out in my boat on one of the many islands out there. I found this uh, on the shoreline and it's perfect. It's the type of foam I like. The, it's quite compact and it floats well so but uh, if you can't if you uh, if you can't find this type of foam that's so compact you you can just buy a regular co uh, commercial foam they were great so I'm gonna put a link in the description uh, uh, to my sponsor so you can get the foam um, yeah that's it and you can follow my Instagram account if you want and I'm gonna put a link to all the social media in, in the description so so here you can see the fly this is a size six and uh, I use, I like, the hooks I like for this type of flies is uh, stinger hooks with a pretty light wire. It's important that uh, that uh, you don't use too thick wire because you want a, you want a, a light uh, fly, you don't want it too heavy. And you want the big gap because, uh, because it's a top water fly. You need uh, also it hooks very well. If you use a streamer hook, I feel it. Yeah, it don't hook that well, and 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 also this makes for a perfect kill for the fly. So this is a Gamagatsu F314 in a size six. Okay, so let's start off. And I'm using this thread. This is from Semperfly. Uh, this is this is all new for me. I, I've been tying now for a couple of weeks and this thread is amazing. It's amazing. It's the six so the, 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 the wax, the new thread they have. So I can recommend it. So, okay, this is a fluor red because we're gonna use this because we're gonna make uh, a, a trigger point in the back. So let's start off. As you see, I'm starting all the way from the hook eye because I like to make a solid foundation from for this fly. I'm gonna tell you why in a bit. Okay, snip it off. I'm gonna go back just where the hook starts to bend and cross the, your thread and go back again. Pull it, make it nice and tight. That's important. And you know, when I tie these flies, when I tie these flies, I tie usually I tie 10 at a time. So I pull, pull out 10 feathers, I take 10 hooks, I, you know, and by doing that, I I make I can make ten flies. That's that's the same. They, they there's no difference between them. So yeah, okay. So we're gonna tie in the tail, and here I'm actually just using. This is the last one I have from this tail. This is a fox, and and I like it because it has these black tips. And uh, and when this is done, I'm just gonna choose another one. I think the the most important is is it's a it's a soft material. It's important that it's soft because uh, if it's too stiff, um, I think the fly it doesn't it doesn't move as good in the water, and and I want I want a, a loose, I want a soft soft material because I want it to to kind of. 
uh, wiggle about in the water <laughs> and uh, and uh, and uh, but I don't want it too soft like mar marabou I don't think it would work that great because it, it's just too much I want a thin tail so I can recommend using some fox just some black one black I just happen to have this color so yeah so I'm gonna pinch out I'm not overdoing it but I'm gonna use as always I use my hook as a gauge uh, for my materials uh, so I'm going to measure out the full length of the body from the brown part. And if I do that all the time with all the flies, they're going to be the same. So yeah, uh, measure it, transfer it to the other fingers, snip it off. Okay, so I'm going to tie it in and now I'm going to pinch around the hook because I want this on the top, go around, slack turn up. And I'm going to tie in the... the so tie these ones and I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna slide my fingers back and hold on to the tail because I wanted to keep it up on the top of the hook. Like that, cross my thread and go back again. And there's your there's your tail. That's a perfect tail. As you can see, it has a nice white profile in the in the back here and, and it's tapered out perfectly. Oh, this is good. I'm gonna tie in some flash. I'm just gonna tie in this side and I don't as you can see I don't want them too long and that's important just and on the side because uh, this fish sees it from underneath and if the flash is gonna have you know if it's gonna work it have to be underneath so yeah like that fold it over to the far side pinch it and go back touching turns pull it go back again and snip this one off like that as you can see now you have a flash on both sides okay it's a little bit too long this one so that's that's it okay so now we're gonna actually tie we're gonna make a trigger point and we're gonna make sure our thread is just by the tip of the hook okay like that so now we're gonna tie in the foam and as you've seen, I cut cut this on my, <laughs> on, my on, a, on a wood board with my sushi knife. And by the way, the, the knife is okay. I, I my knives are so uh, yeah. So this is two millimeter, and I'm gonna cut this one in half, and this actually becomes eight millimeters, both of them. So I have to for two flies here. So eight millimeters wide and two millimeters thick. And as you can see now, uh, I have cut this part with a knife and I want to seal off all the, the bubbles. So I'm just gonna use a lighter. I'm gonna show you down here. I'm not trying not to catch my fly on fire. So I'm just gonna run it fast over and it seals off the foam. Just fast like that. And it seals it off. Do the sides, don't burn your fly and you're good to go. So that's. That's a nice little trick there. Just be careful so you don't burn your fingers. So, uh, okay, so we're gonna tie in the, the foam. And again, I'm using my hook as a gauge. That's important because, you know, yeah. So it's gonna go exactly the same length as the, the hook here, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna pinch it with my thumb. And now I'm gonna do one turn, pull it a little bit. Don't pull it too hard. You want to have two turns like that, and then you can pull it. And I'm gonna check my anchor point. So uh, when I, I almost touch the thread like that, because sometimes the thread has the tendency to not go straight down, okay? So take two turns, pull it, and take two more turns and pull it, and lift up the foam and hold this one tight and just go forwards like that. And actually, I go back again, just to make sure, and then I uh, go all the way in, and I pull, flip it over, take two more turns, pull it again, and go back again. And that will not spin on you. You don't need any uh, any any glue, and you don't need any super glue. That's it. This will hold great. So, yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna do an underbody. We're gonna use some dubbing. This is uh, from Spirit River. Diamond Bright Pearl, I love this stuff. 
this is uh, with the UV, UV, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, and then and we're gonna pull out just a little bit. Do not overdo this, okay? And it's important when you uh, take out dubbing that it's it's light. Don't overdo it, okay? So just uh, dub on like that. Make it nice and loose. And uh, we're gonna have some have a nice body there. So as you can see, I start from there because um, we're gonna we're gonna palm it with a hackle. So I'm gonna start there, go back, and I'm gonna show you uh, a technique that I'm not quite sure. You can try it out if you want. I've been doing this with the, I've been, I tied 50 flies now and it works great for me, but if this doesn't work for you, leave it out, okay? It's one of those uh, battles and things, you know? I have some funny techniques. So we're gonna pull out a feather. This is a, this is a soft haggle. And actually, we, we the gauge here. I don't know. Sometimes, you know, this is for me. I, I I'm I'm not so picky with the length. They can be a little bit shorter than this one, and they can be a little bit longer. the The most important part is that you don't put on too much. Okay. So if there, are, that's that's more important. So you can see it. I, I don't have actually have a measure for it. So yeah, about this length. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna pull out the lower part. Pull out the lower part like that. <laughs> I hope I hope you like this technique. It's it's not yeah. So I'm gonna tie it in, and I'm not so picky on. I'm just gonna tie it in with the the shiny part in like that. And we're actually gonna tie it in there, because what I find is that these hackles, these stems are so fragile. They 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 break on you. So and, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you. So fold it back. Take a couple of turns. Hold this tight and pull off the tip. And I have a camera here. I'm doing the best I can, guys. Like that. There you go. That's the hackle. And we're gonna pull out a small bunch of dubbing again. And just dub it on, slide it up. Like that. Pull it back. Like that. And then comes the fun part. Now, I, I haven't seen this technique anywhere, but yeah, you know. So I'm actually gonna roll this around my thread because I, I was actually thinking about the same technique you use when you put on uh, put on um, uh, what's it called uh, peacock curl, you know, f to make the curl uh, uh, much durable. So for me, this is this works great. This works so great, like that. There you go. You have the hackle around your thread, and and you're gonna make a. Uh, very durable fly, okay? So I'm just gonna spin it with my, with my vise, like that. And it secures that hackle so good. So I hope you like that te technique. Uh, I'm not claiming it. Uh, I'm pretty sure someone else has done it. <laughs> but it's it's super fun, you have to try it. Uh, uh, yeah, you have to try it, okay? So as you can see, I've made a lot of space for myself for the finish of the fly, and that's also important that when you, as you see, I started, uh, I set, set my thread here and I dubbed the back. And here, I always do that because now I know I have to stop there because you're gonna tie in the foam and everything. And I like to have a, yeah, so yeah, that's important. So, okay, that's the hackle. Oh, I'm getting exciting, exciting. So I'm gonna split those in two. Come here with the foam. And again, I'm going to go all the way over and pull it once and twice. And then I'm going to pull it hard and I'm going to check my anchor point that I haven't caught, caught any, you know, hackles and everything. And that looks great because I'm going to finish off with a head. Yeah, that's great. So two and one and two and tighten up and then lift it up and go all the way in the front and then go back again, pull the thread to more turns and back again, hold it tight, and then finish off with a fin finish. I like using the finish. And I use a five turn we finish. That's kind of what I do in two, in two three, four, five. I'm sorry, uh, a bit confused. Like that, snip it off, and then the length of the of the front part is also crucial. I like it. You know, I I just hold my scissors against the hook eye. Like that, I can feel it. 
it's important not to snip off, you know, so you don't ruin your scissors. Just push it down and you hear it? And there I, I, I snip it off. And that's perfect. That's perfect. And I'm also going to seal this end here with a lighter and I'm going to pinch it a couple of times. Pinch. And you, you this is perfect. Oh, yeah. And there we go. <laughs> and I'm going to divide the hackles like that. They're going to... Oh, it's perfect. And I, here we can see you have a durable fly. This this won't move on you at all. So I hope I hope I didn't do it too fast for you guys. Just try out the hackle technique. It's it's super fun, but you have to do it uh, clockwise. That's kind of the thing that works for me. So yeah, try it out. So that's the gurgler in a size six. And I'm going to show you. There, here's the size eight. It's a little bit different, but. Here we can see the size eight, smaller fly. That means you have. I have um, instead of eight millimeters, I, I I go for a five millimeter. I think it's five. Yeah, five, five millimeter in top, but the same thickness. I think that's works great. And as you can see, the tail, the tail hair is actually um, when I. It's, it's that part. It's the part I don't use for the other fly and I always like to do that. I, I, I don't throw that much stuff away. So I'm actually, this is the tail for the size eight and it's the same, but here I use, actually I use a, um, a black hackle. So you can use what you want. And, and I just, here I palmer, I don't do the same technique. I'm just, I just dub it from that point back and forwards and I tie in a black hackle. I have some already made here. As you can see, I use this soft hackle again, soft hackle. And I just palmer the front part. So it's so that all it's important when you're going to tie a smaller fly, it's important that it actually is smaller. Okay, here's the big one, here's the small one. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I hope this didn't go too fast, okay? Uh, I'm so excited to, to do these uh, tutorials these days. So um I plan them in advance so I know what to say and I try not to forget anything but if if there's any questions just leave a comment down in, down below and I always answer uh, all the comments and I really appreciate all the comments and the, the response um, especially these in English uh, take I, I'm, I'm watching all the guys on YouTube you know Kelly Gallup and all those guys there are uh, and David McPhail I'm trying to pick up the words so you can understand what I mean but we're done with the gurglers. This is a top water fly. Um, I'm gonna put them in. Okay, that's the fly box. That's the gurgler. So uh, yeah, uh, and as always, I will put a material list in the description. You just press on more and you can get down there and you can see the material list of every material I have. And I'm gonna put a link to my sponsor. Uh, they have a web shop, so you can order the the foam. I'm gonna I'm gonna find the foam for you guys and and uh, everything. So, yeah, and uh, to my social media, my Instagram account, my Facebook, and everything. So, so yeah, okay. Are we gonna cheers? Black coffee, and it's still hot. That's a good sign. <laughs> and then I haven't been talking that much. So yeah, okay. And again. Uh, this is quite uh, the thread I'm using the, from Semperfly, the 6.0 uh, wax thread. It's yeah, uh, yeah, you should try it. It's it's great. So <laughs> this is quite fun for me because I've been tying with the Uni thread for like 30 years, and they came over to me and they said, "Just yes, try this, Ivan." And I was like, "Yeah, I don't know." And uh, I started tying with it, and it was like all my criteria. It was like works so good so yeah so that's the thread okay i'll see you in the next one goodbye